Graduating from college is a significant milestone in a student's life, and it marks the transition from being a dependent to being an independent individual. So along with this newfound freedom comes a range of responsibilities, including financial ones. One aspect of financial responsibility that often goes overlooked is insurance. If you no longer live in your parents' home and now are no longer a full-time student, your belongings are no longer covered by your parents' homeowner's insurance. It's time for you to graduate to your own renter's insurance policy to cover your belongings. Now, I know money can be tight just starting out in your career with a lot of new expenses being shifted to your responsibility, but don't push aside renter's insurance. This is the time that you need renter's insurance the most. If there is a fire or a theft, it required you to go out and repurchase all of your belongings, even though it might not be that much at this point in time, it would be a significant financial setback for you. And you most likely wouldn't even be able to afford to go out and repurchase all of your belongings. That is why this is a perfect time to shift that financial risk to the insurance company. Now you'll find that this is actually a very affordable coverage ranging anywhere from 10 to $20 a month, depending on the value of your stuff. Uh, and if you already have auto insurance in your name or plan on getting auto insurance in your name in the near future, be sure to purchase renter's insurance with the same company that has your auto insurance. You will get a multi-policy discount on both policies. And the discount on the auto policy will usually cover most, if not all, of the price of the renter's insurance policy. I know I like getting deals, and I'm sure you do too. That's like getting two policies for the price of one. So if you'd like help with your renter's insurance and auto insurance, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks, everybody.